The Pion Macroflux and Bioflux consist of a number of components and accessories shown in this video. The Macroflux utilizes the 1000 ml dissolution vessel and is compatible with a range of dissolution bar. The Bioflux is designed to represent more biorelevant volumes and uses smaller vessels with a working volume of 200 to 250 milliliters. These large vessels act as the donor chamber during a flux experiment. The macroflux vessel cover fits with both vessel sizes and has cutouts to support in situ fiber optic probes, the macroflux stirrer head, and a port for sample addition. This vessel cover sits on top of the dissolution vessel and secures it into the dissolution bar. The stirrer head is shown here and employs an overhead stirrer and is used in conjunction with one of two sizes of acceptor chamber. The extended length chamber on the left is for use with the bioflux, and the standard length chamber on the right is for use with the macroflux. The acceptor volume can range between 10 and 20 milliliters. In use, the acceptor chambers are filled with media and clipped onto the stirrer head. At the bottom of the chamber is a hydrophobic PVDF membrane support, which comes into contact with the donor media when placed into the vessel cover. The membrane is pregnated with the Pion GIT lipid solution to simulate permeability of APIs across the membrane. During a typical assay, the acceptor chamber will be filled with Pion acceptor sink buffer. This contains chemical scavengers which provide sink conditions for the receiver chamber. Once the membrane has been painted and filled with acceptor buffer, it is placed into the top of the vessel ready for use in the assay. Quantitation of sample in both vessels is performed with the use of in situ fiber optic probes connected to the pion rainbow. Quantitation in the donor chamber is performed using the J style probe with interchangeable path length tips ranging from 1 to 20 millimeters, which are screwed onto the end of the probe to account for a range of sample UV absorbance and concentration ranges. Concentration in the acceptor chamber is measured with the miniature style probes, which fit through the top of the macroflux stirrer head to measure concentration directly in the acceptor chamber. The next section contains a demonstration of how to prepare and run a bioflux assay to measure the absorption of a marketed ibuprofen product. The dissolution bath has been set to 37 degrees, with a bioflux vessel installed and filled with 250 milliliters of dilute hydrochloric acid at pH 1.6. This has been allowed to equilibrate to assay temperature. The first step is to paint the membrane support with the GIT lipid. 50 microliters of the lipid is pipetted onto the surface of the membrane and the membrane is rotated to ensure complete coverage. Once fully coated, the previously opaque membrane becomes translucent. Once the membrane is painted, the acceptor chamber can be filled. 20 milliliters of ASB is added to the chamber, and the chamber is attached to the stirrer unit. Once attached, the filled chamber and stirrer head are placed into the holder on the macroflux vessel cover. The membrane at the bottom of the chamber is submerged into the dissolution media. This is done as quickly as possible to prevent the membrane from drying. Once in position, fiber optic probes are added to the donor and receiver chambers. J probe is placed into the donor vessel and the height is checked and adjusted. The miniature probe is then placed in through the stirrer unit and into the acceptor chamber. Finally, the stirrer unit is connected to the macroflux stirring controller. Once all connected up, stirring can be initiated in the dissolution vessel and in the acceptor chamber. The stirring of each chamber is controlled independently and can be set to individual speeds. To start the analysis, a 100% T or blank spectrum is collected for use as the media background.
A previously collected calibration curve for the ibuprofen sample has been imported into the software. A separate calibration curve has been collected in each media and for each specific probe. To start the experiment, the experimental settings and spectral collection details are set up. During this example, 240 spectra are set to be collected with a 30 second interval, giving a total experimental duration of 2 hours. During this setup time, the sample is prepared for addition. Addition of the sample should be performed simultaneously with starting the experimental run. The sample is added via the port in the macroflux vessel cover, and dissolution of the sample begins. As the sample begins to dissolve, spectra are collected, and quantitation of the sample is performed in real time. This short clip shows how the dissolution and flux of the sample is seen over the first hour of the experiment. Spectral collection is stopped automatically at the end of the assay and results can be viewed within the AU Pro software or can be exported into Excel for external processing. 